If you're going to be working in the yard, chances are you're going to be digging a hole. And for that, you need a good shovel. So, Roger, in your opinion, what makes for a good shovel? Well, there's several choices, Kevin. Let's start off with a classic wooden shovel. This handle can split and check from the winter. In fact, if you look right there, there's a crack in this one already. Look at the handle going into the blade. It's held in by a single rivet, and that's a weak point, too. Okay. The other weak point is if when you drive this into the ground, you hit a rock and you go to wedge up, you can snap this right in half. So, in your opinion, the wooden handle shovel is not for you? No, but there is an upgrade a fiberglass handle shovel. Okay. Take a look at this one here. You can see it's a fiberglass down to a simple connection and it still has a rivet, but this is a little stronger than the wooden handled one. All right, but do you think this is the best shovel that you can get? No, this is what we use on our crew. This is a heavy, heavy fiberglass. You feel how heavy that is. Oh yeah, big difference. Right? Now look at the connection. This is a ferrule that's pressed down over the shovel itself to hold it on tight. That, that'll never fail. And if you put this in the ground, you hit a root or a rock, you can simply wedge it right out of the ground without breaking the handle. All right, heavy fiberglass and the best connection you can find. That makes for a good shovel. Yeah. Let's talk about how we use these things to dig a hole. One of the first things you want to look for is this, these pads for your feet. Mm -hmm. It allows you to really put pressure on the shovel and drive it into the ground. So what I do is I stand up nice and straight, line up the shovel like that and simply push it into the ground. And you've told us this before, you know, about how you should use your feet to push this as opposed right. to just your arms. If you're going like this all day, you're going to be done, burnt out in a very short time. All right. So now when we're digging, we might hit some obstructions where the shovel's not the best tool to deal with them because there are other tools out there. Right. So what we have here is a grub hoe. This has a blade end on one side for cutting roots and a pick end for loosening soil. A lot of times the ground's so hard you can't even get the shovel in it. So you simply take this, hmm. drive it in, loosen the ground up, and then you're ready to dig. Okay, and then you've got another one right next to it which is similar but a little different. Right. Now this has an ax end on it. You wouldn't want to take your good ax and come out and cut roots, but if you hit a root in the ground like this, yeah. you just take your grub ax and cut right through it and make short work of it. Actually happens quite frequently when you're digging around bushes and yep. such. All right. You've got a big iron bar here. When does this guy come into play? Anytime you hit a rock, you don't want to use your shovel, take a chance on injuring it. Take a look at this. On one end we have a blade, on the other end we have a point, and this will make short work of any rocks that you might hit in the ground. All right, well, let's dig ourselves a hole here. I'll get the shovel. All right, Kevin, say we want to dig a hole this big. Now, rather than start outside and work in, you're going to dig a little hole in the middle, make it easier for you to dig. Now, get rid of that and make a pile over here and start working from the center out. And dig that out straight back when you lift. There's some roots showing up. Kev, your form is great. You got a straight back, you're driving it in with your foot, and then you're using the handle to pry the dirt out and lift. I get a 10 from the landscaping judge. I, I wouldn't it. say a 10. Oh, come on. All right, Roger, we're down pretty deep. Kevin, if I only had the choice of two shovels, my second one would be the square shovel. Nice steel edge. Not great for digging. It's kind of hard to drive into the ground, yep. but when it comes to cleaning up material, it's perfect. Easy to move that dirt. You got a good shovel full there. All right. Not so bad, huh? No, it works really well. 